Hey, this is Mr. Masonette, and what we're going to do in this math video is I'm going to show you a quick way that we can reflect an object on the coordinate plane, specifically across the x-axis as well as the y-axis. So we have triangle ABC that we're going to reflect in this direction across the x as well as this direction across the y. The first thing that I like to do is just write down the current position of each one of our vertices. So point A is currently located at negative 6, positive 2. Point B is currently located at negative 4, positive 8. And C is currently located at negative 2, positive 2. All right, so let's reflect this across the x-axis. Now, when reflecting something across the x-axis, all of the x values of your original points are going to remain the same. So we're going to rewrite these x values as negative 6, negative 4, and negative 2. And your y values become opposite of what they are. So all of these positive values here are now going to be negative. So positive 2 is now negative 2, positive 8 is now negative 8, and positive 2 is now negative 2. So let us go ahead and plot our new points. So the new location of A is going to be at negative 6, negative 2, B is now located at negative 4, negative 8, and point C is now located at negative 2, negative 2. All right, so let's connect our points so we can visually see our reflection. All right, so we can see that this triangle was reflected across the x-axis or flipped across the x-axis. All right, let's go ahead and reflect this triangle across the y-axis. So what we're going to do this time for our reflection is we're going to keep all of the y values the same. When reflecting across the y-axis, all of the y's stay the same and the x values become opposite. So we're going to take 2, 8, and 2 and rewrite those 2, 8, and 2. So we kept those positive. They remain the same. And all of these x values are going to become opposite of what they are. So we're going to take negative 6 and write positive 6. Negative 4 is now 4, and negative 2 is now 2. So now we can go ahead and plot these points. So A is now going to be at positive 6, positive 2. B is now located at positive 4, positive 8. And C is now located at positive 2, positive 2. So now we can visually see that we reflected this triangle across the y-axis. So when reflecting an object across the x-axis, the x's stay the same and the y's become opposite, and the opposite is true for reflections across the y-axis. The y's stay the same and the x's become opposite.